Okay. Okay. One of the many adventures of Rubin and Bongo. Once upon a time, there was a small and beautiful dog. Her name is Ruby. She was a little Shih Tzu. Her was she was black and white. She arrived at her friend's Natalie house in January 22, when she was a one month. Natalie was a 50-year-old girl, responsible and very kind to dogs. Ruby was grow up and become a kid and fun puppy. She, since she arrived at her friend's Natalie house, Ruby has show herself to be a social, sociable dog. She lived in the big city with a warm climate all year round. Her city was a very large country in South America called in Brazil. Her city was in the northeast of the country. The city's climate was hot, yes, but very pleasant, very nice, due to the breeze that come from its beautiful beach. Ruby's house was collected in a very nice neighborhood. There was an ecological park, living shop mall, soccer school, the care center, and many other dogs. Since she was a pup, Ruby liked to play and always looked around her. She was always waiting to play. It was very nice all the time. Beside love to play, Ruby loved to eat. Ruby was getting smart every day and wanted to eat more and more. When she was one year old, her adventure began. She wanted to eat all the time. Her friend Natalie controlled her diet well so that Ruby don't get chubby because that wanted to be for her health. Natalie liked to explain to Ruby because she didn't eat, she couldn't eat a lot and all the time. Ruby looked at Natalie and listened it to what her friends will say. But it was difficult to her to understand all the words. She just memorized the word eating. Ruby always thought about eating, eating, and eating. The food country turned out to be a difficult task to Natalie because she had to her homework, help her mother with homework. Thus more, she had another little dog, called by name for Bongo. Bongo was a Shih Tzu too, but was white and brown. He was a beautiful dog. He was already two years old, when Ruby arrived at his house. Quite different from Ruby, Bongo don't like to eat so much. In fact, he didn't really like to eat. All he talked about was sleeping and being close to his friend Natalie. If Natalie left them alone, could you imagine it, which would normally have? Sir first Ruby, would quickly eat Bongo's food, and then she would run to his bowl. She's very smart, who be liked to play the, par the park. She was great fun. Think time because a big adventure to Ruby, for Ruby. Bongo liked 
the gentleman dog, they was and had and faithful to his company who be. That company about anything. Besides, he knew that Ruby was brave and that one who would dare brother, bother him when he was taken a nap with Ruby around. But unfortunately, this Ruby adventure would not last long. Her friend Natalie started to notice that something was waiting for one. And she started to think, oh, what would be happening? Sometimes very strange. On go eat very slowly. As she suddenly started to eat so fast, another thing Natalie noticed was the Bongo never ordered food outside of hours and had come to sitting on ordinary food. There was a mystery. Oh, this smart girl that she always was. Natalie suspected that Ruby was eating Bongo's food. Bongo was giving slim every day. On the other hand, Ruby was pumply. He came down that Ruby was always very graceful, but she was chubby. They was not good for her poor health, and also even to Bongo's health. Natalie is then started to monitor the feed, the both Ruby and Bongo. She watched them both leave until they finished their meals. Strategically, Natalie served first Ruby, then Bongo. She would be what then eating. Ruby's chance to for eating the bongo portion are over. We was very sad the first few days, but then she realizes that she could only eat what she had her bowl. Her friend Natalie just said, Ruby eats only what in, in her head bowl, okay? And don't eat, eat, eat. Ruby understand that this adventure could not continue. One day, Ruby went through a mirror and see she needed to take better care of her health. She looked more like a bow and young than a puppy, she told. How could she run the park to pick her little ball, a ring, he bring it to her friend Canada, Natalie, several times. If they continue to eat bogo meals, Ruby was wanted to be the culprit. She did that she want her friend Natalie to, to be sage or stressed about her. She always realized that it was a far to her to continue eating to bongo portion. Portion. She could get sick. Ruby decided they would always be a really nice puppy, and her friend Natalie would also be very proud for her. Well, this is just one of the many adventures Ruby had set up. Thank you for attention.